Compound annual growth rate, also known as CAGR, is a financial metric that will help us to compare different type of investments and choose the better among them. See, we have two investment scenarios here. In the first case, I made an investment of 100,000 rupees for three years. And at the end of the third year, the investment has become 150,000. In the second case, I made an investment of 100,000 rupees for five years. And at the end of the fifth year, the investment had become 175,000. Now, if I ask you, which is the better investment? What will be your answer? Or how are you going to calculate that? To compare these type of investments, we need to know the growth rate. In other words, we need to know at what percentage our investment had grown each year. So let's calculate the compound annual growth rate of these two investments to find the better one. Equal, the Excel function for calculating compound annual growth rate is RRI. Type in RRI, open parentheses. RRI function has three arguments. In other words, we need to give three inputs for RRI function to return the desired result. First argument or first input is NPER, select the number of years, comma. Second argument PVO, present value, select the cell containing initial investment, comma. Third argument FVO, final value, select the cell containing final value, close parenthesis, enter. See the formula has returned a decimal. Let's apply percentage format to the cell, percent style, increase decimal. See the compound annual growth rate of the first investment is 14.47 percentage. Now the CAGR of the second investment equal RRI function, open parenthesis, NPER, select the number of years, comma, present value, that is initial investment, comma, final value, close parenthesis, enter, apply percent style. CAGR of second investment is 11.84 percentage. Obviously, the first investment scheme is better. If I had invested 100,000 rupees at this rate for five years, that amount had become 196,000 rupees. Now, the conventional formula for calculating CAGR equal open parentheses final value divided by initial value close parentheses the whole raised to open parentheses 1 divided by number of years close parentheses minus 1 enter apply percentage format note that CAGR only considers the initial and final values of an investment and does not take into account the systematic investment made at different time intervals for calculating annualized return of an investment that has irregular cash flows, we need to consider extended internal rate of return, also called XARR. See you soon with a video on XARR. Thank you for watching and wish you a great day.